Hey guys, Patrice here with the uh, MT's video. Um, I decided to do mine early. I have the day off of work. Boyfriend and son are gone. And I got a pile of empties. I don't know what has got into me this month, but I went through some stuff and decided the bag was getting overflowed, so I get it out of the way. So this video is already going to be long enough, so we're just going to jump right in. We're going to start with the extra large clamshells. Um, I didn't start and finish these all in one month. Some I did gift to friends and yeah, I just decided. So this is from Cozy Home Candle Melts. This is coconut shortbread cookies, which is freshly baked buttery shortbread cookies topped with sh curls of coconut sugar crystals. This was, I did not like this on cold. I thought uh, this smelled waxy and just a fake coconut, but once it got warm, this was so good. Um, I would repurchase this. Um, her wax usually lasts probably, let's, I'm going to say about 10 hours, which is fine. Um, it's not overly, uh, overly long, but it's enough that I get what I want out of it. So anyways, that's coconut shortbread cookies. Next one is Lemon Cookie from Cozy Home Candle Melts, which is mouth-watering fragrance of fresh lemons, tangy and sharp, sweetened with vanilla whip, sprinkled with sugar crystals. Delicious. This is delicious. It is exactly what it says it is. It is a lemon cookie. You can tell that it's lemon, but there is a bakery aspect to it. This one does last probably about 12 hours. Um, I would. This is my second one of it, um, and I would repurchase it. And last, from Cozy Home Candle Melts, it's Honey Gingerbread. This warm, sweet, spicy goodness has notes of nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar, and honey that will have you dreaming of a gingerbread house and warm spice cake. I like Honey Gingerbread a lot more than gingerbread. It take, cuts that gingerbread spice, um, but I think I'm over gingerbread for the season. Um, but I would repurchase this next winter, so around Christmas time. And it lasted... Uh, probably about 10, 12 hours. So, um, I see people throwing these in. Um, I thought I would, this is from, sorry guys, this is Mahogany Teakwood for the wallflowers. I use the wallflowers, um, down in the basement bathroom, just in case we're not, we don't use it enough to justify putting a warmer in there. So I just bought one of these and the scent notes are rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak. Um, I like this. Um, it's not something I want all the time, but I like it. It's still going, so. Uh, we'll do scent shots next. I have a scent shot from Mandala Melts and Spring Cleaning, which is fresh cut, fresh cut grass, fresh laundry, and seaside breeze. Um, I wouldn't have bought this from the scent notes, but this was really good. Um, I really enjoyed this. For some reason, I got like a fruity thing from it might be I don't know where but then that laundry in the grass came out um this lasted a good while too probably about 12 hours um, I'm finding with mandala melts um the sooner you melt the better so that's what I'm going to do with hers so I really I really enjoyed that one and I would repurchase this is blue Christmas from mandala melts which is strawberry blueberry jam and sugar cookie my boyfriend did not like this one he said, I don't know what you have in that warmer, but I don't like it. I did melt this in my bedroom. Maybe it just, oh, sorry. Maybe it just wasn't what he wanted. I really enjoyed it. I definitely got all of those notes. And this uh, this didn't last an over long time, but I'm kind of glad about it because where my boyfriend didn't like it. It only lasted probably like six hours or so, but I would repurchase that one, just use it sooner. Uh, the next one is Sleepy. From Mandela Melts, which is lavender, pink sugar, and marshmallow. This one's okay. Um, it, it is what it is. It's sleepy scent. Um, I'm not a huge lavender, pink sugar, like bedtime. I don't melt when I go to sleep. So I don't feel like I need a bunch of these scents. But they're nice. They're nice if I put something in. And that throw was, was very uh, minimum because I find with those scents that they're like that. This one... Uh, Frank and Weenie from Mandala Mel, Sugar Plum Margarita. Um, I don't have scent notes. It's exactly what it says. I freaking love any of her drink scents, her ginger ales, her sodas, her margaritas. They are all fantastic. Um, uh, this 
the throw again wasn't the best. It was probably six, seven, eight hours, somewhere in there. But I would 100% repurchase any of her drinks since they're my favorite. I have a sample of the Sun of the Feb Sun of the Month from Scentsy for February, red pear and pomegranate. I got this in my whiff basket or whiff box. Um, this is okay um, on cold, but when it's warm, it's really good. But I found with this scent that I went nose blind to it, like super quick. Like if I, I put this in my bedroom just to warm it. And uh, when I was laying in bed, I couldn't smell it. But if I got up to go to the washroom or out to the kitchen and came back, I could smell it right away. And it was really good. I just wish I could smell it when I was in the room. I would repurchase that though. And that one did last like 12 plus hours. I have tea and cakes from Ella After, which is orange and almond cakes with black tea. Um, I don't think I like tea and cakes on its own. Um, this was okay. I don't think I would re... I like it in blends. Um, but I really don't think I would buy it on its own again. Um, but it lasted 12 plus hours. So, but I, again, I like it just in blends. The next is Tommy, Blue Sugar, Oudwood, and Marshmallow Fireside. Love this one. Love Blue Sugar. Love Oudwood. Love uh, Marshmallow Fireside. I have a love-hate. Depends on how smoky it is. But this one's really good. Um, I found myself actually like wanting to stay in the living room and stuff to smell this. This lasted 12 plus hours and I would, I have repurchased it and I would again. Uh, let's talk about this one. This is um, from Ella After, a apricot, vanilla, milk, and rose water. Um, this is one of the only scents I have ever put in and taken out within a couple hours. And not because it's a bad scent, it's just not my cup of tea. It's You definitely get that rose, but you get like a fruity rose, but my boyfriend hated this. Hated it, hated it, asked me to take it out, told me I should have threw it out uh he just doesn't like strong rose scents or floral and i'm right there with him so i definitely would not repurchase this but if you like flor fruity florals i highly recommend giving that a shot that was super strong and i can't say for the longevity because i took it out after two hours this is dollhouse dreams which is lavender vanilla cake pops and coconut cream this is such a nice scent like this would be like my bedtime blend just a nice light cakey scent um this one is not strong super strong this is not and i don't want it to be because it's definitely a bedroom scent so i have repurchased this i would repurchase this it's very nice it lasted only probably like eight hours but it is what it is and that's what i i got what i wanted of it this is Summers in the Light from Ella After, Pink Sugar and Beechwood. I love this one. I get the pink sugar. I get the beechwood. This is strong. This lasted 12 plus hours. I've repurchased this. I would repurchase it. Again, it is really good. If you like those beachy kind of girly scents, I recommend it. This one is Ice Blue. It's our version of Luscious Fresh Mint and White Musk. Um, I didn't like this on cold. I bought this, regretted it. Stuck it away, wasn't going to melt it. I hauled it out to use it up, and I really enjoyed this more on warm than I thought it would. I put this in the bathroom. It was a beautiful scent. I don't think I would put it through my entire house, but I would put it, um, I would get it for the bathroom again. And with Ella Afters, I actually cut hers into fours. Um, so each little piece lasted me about. Uh, 12 hours so I get a long time out of one cent shot so this is a blend for Kate's Gran uh, from Ella After Blackberry Magnolia and Three Wishes Tea this was a custom um, that was made and I had purchased some scent shots of the customs um, this was nice this was I definitely got that Blackberry Magnolia but that Three Wishes Tea kind of came in the background this one lasted about I don't know eight hours like I said, cut into fours. They're all cut into four. So when I say eight hours, each little four lasts eight hours. So um, I don't think I'd repurchase that one. Uh, I, but I, it was nice for what it was. This is Alice, which is gingham and downy blue. Um, I love this one. I would repurchase this. I have repurchased it. I would keep repurchasing it. This is strong. 
you definitely get that gingham and downy blue. This one lasts probably 12 plus hours and again, definitely repurchase. We'll get into some Scentsy. This is sea salt and avocado from Scentsy. I have been, again, warming the, the juicy scents. So um, I thought I really liked sea salt and avocado and it's okay, but I get that green note. And sometimes I'm okay with it, sometimes I'm not. I think I just got a sea salt and avocado overload because I had it in my car in a sun circle, I had it in dish soap going and I had it warming as well. And um, I, I think I would repurchase this, but I think I would wait until summertime to warm it. It's not an all the year long scent for me. This is eggnog from Scentsy. This is part of the Sons of the Season collection. This was from four years ago, I would say at least. Um, this is nice. It's light. Uh, it's just a creamy eggnog scent. It is what it is. It lasted, oh, with sea salt and avocado, it lasted 12 plus hours. This lasted probably, I don't know, around 10 hours. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat running in the background. She's just a kitten. She's just going crazy. Um, I might repurchase one of these, but it's not, I don't need it. Uh, this is Gleeful Grape from Scentsy, getting juicy. Um, this is not my favorite grape scent from Scentsy. I used to really like it, but my scent preference has definitely changed. I feel this, for some reason, something in this is very medicinal to me. It's not just grape. I think it's got other fruits in it too. And I had the scent notes. They're on my phone. I'm recording with my phone. I don't think about this stuff <laughs> till it's too late. Um... But I might repurchase one, but for some reason I got like a great medicine scent out of this. So I really don't know if I would. It's not my favorite grape from Scentsy. This is hashtag best life from uh, the No Limits Wax Collection with Scentsy. This is fruity. I think this has blackberries and pineapple and something else. Um, I did have this in my Scentsy Club. I took it out. It's nice. It's light. Lighter than what I would prefer. It only lasted probably eight, 10 hours, something like that. With Scentsy, I really get a long time. Like sea salt and avocado, I probably could have got, I probably got like 20 hours. So for something to only have like eight, 10 hours for Scentsy, it just not justify it. But it's a nice fruity scent, but nothing that stands out. This, however, Autumn Plays Maple. Holy frig, this is an old clam. I finally used it up. I love this one, but you have to like maple to like it. It is a powerhouse that's lasted like 24 hours plus. Um, I would, if this ever came back, I would put this in my Scentsy Club and I'd never take it out. This is so, so good. I really enjoy that. Um, one from Sensationals, Mocha Latte. Um, this was okay. I'm not a huge mocha fan I found in wax. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is and I'm not a huge latte uh, person. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was okay. Like it only lasts about eight hours. Um, Sensational doesn't always perform well in my house, so I uh, wouldn't repurchase that. So now let's get on to bags. This is a Lorelei lemon curd toast and marshmallow and sugar cookie. Kind of went along the same lines as the other lemon cookie from Cozy Home candle melts. This was good. I like this one a little bit better. I think that the toast and marshmallow lended something to this. Um, I have more of this. I would repurchase this. This is a very nice uh, lemon bakery. Next is a sample from Tallulah Poe and Lemon Laundry. Lemon slices, clean cotton, salty sea air. Um, this was nice. It didn't last a long time. This only lasted probably like six hours, five, six hours. And it was pretty light. I thought that this would be a powerhouse where it's lemon and laundry, but it really wasn't. And I even had it in my bedroom, which is an enclosed place. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but it was nice and cold. I wish I could maybe get a custom somewhere else. So this was probably one of my standouts this month. This is cashmere and cedar, which everybody knows, everyone loves. It's vanilla sugar orchid, cedar wood musk. I love this in blends, but I love this on my own. I put these in the bedrooms and I actually went and laid in my bed and just for while well, this was melting, this was a strong sucker too. This lasted probably 20 hours or more. I would 
100% repurchase this. I'll keep repurchasing it. I love this scent so much. I love this in blends, on its own, anything. The next I have some pecan from Candle Factory. I had three little pieces. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've got... I think they're all three here. So I've got the Candle Factory Pecan, the Candle Factory Mulberry, and the Candle Factory Lavender Dreams. I had these as friend mail. These did not perform. I put them in. I took them out after about three hours because you couldn't smell any of them. I wouldn't repurchase from that company for that reason. I have the scents weren't the best. Um, I just, in my opinion, I would not repurchase. This is another part of friend mail. Makes sense. Lump of coal, peppermint cake bikes. This is really nice. I would repurchase this one. Uh, you guys have heard this uh, through all my videos. I'm not a mint person, but I am definitely, my nose must be changing because I am loving peppermint and bakery. This is good. I would repurchase this from her. I think she's opening back up. So this is something I would look into next winter. I don't think I would order it right now because we're coming to the end of January, but this is really good. Uh, this was a big pie. This was actually part of my first order from Ella After. Like, that's how old. That's her old labels. And these are her new ones. So, um, this was Christmas pine and sugar cookies. Uh, basic scent now, I find, with uh, vendor wax. But this one was really good. This was like a sweet pine and a sweet sugar cookie. It wasn't um, a harsh pine. Um... It wasn't overly strong. It only lasted, like, I, I chunked it up, obviously. It only lasted probably about 12 hours. Um, but this is really good, and I have repurchased this for being over a year old. Really good. This is Blue Hawaiian from Country Market Crafts, which is notes of orange, lemon, maraschino, cherry, ozone, accented with notes of pineapple, berry, top tropical greens, and sweet coconut. This is just like the drink. This, uh is smells exactly like it on cold but i did got nothing from this i'm warm i got a little bit because i put a bunch of it into my uh, 25 watt warmer in my bedroom i did get a sweetness but i couldn't tell that it was blue hawaiian so i got one more bag of this because i got it before i melted it um i'll melt it and i won't repurchase this one and that's very strange for country market crafts because i normally get an amazing throw from them this is a sample from Ebony Violet and Clean and Sexy, which is bergamot, lemon, vetiver, and cedar. This is good. I put this in my bathroom. It was a little man, little tiny gingerbread man it looked like. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this, but this one was really nice for being a fresh, clean, manly scent. Um, and it lasted probably 12 hours. Um, oops, sorry guys. Next one is a tart bag from Tallulah and Poe and Cotton Candy Milkshake. Fluffy Cotton Candy Rich Vanilla Milkshake. This was good. This was lighter, but it was it was good. So this one lasts about 10 hours or so, and I think I would repurchase this one. It's hard to say. She hasn't been doing a lot of restocks lately, um, and I think you could pretty much get this blend somewhere else, but it's nice, and if I seen it on the website, I might repurchase it. The next is a custom from Ella After um, and Gigi and Sweet Pear. And Gigi, I think, is like a sweet, fruity floral. This was really nice. I've never had Gigi on its own, um, but mixed with that sweet pear, I, I think I, I would definitely repurchase this again. It was a beautiful, beautiful, fruity, girly mix. Um, even a body care line would be great in that. So that lasted 12 plus hours. I'd repurchase that. I got more friend mail. Um, this from Makes Sense, Pink Dreams, Pink Sugar, and Sweet Lavender. I barely got anything out of this. This lasted maybe like three or four hours. Um, again, Pink Sugar and Sweet Lavender. It's not my favorite combo, but it was okay. I, I have, I think, one of that uh, actual uh, cube I bought from her, but I wouldn't repurchase it. This is Windsor from VCS, banana coconut cream pie. This was nice. Um, I did get that sweet banana, creamy banana. Um, I didn't get much coconut and this lasted only probably about eight hours or I don't even know if it's that. It wasn't a boomer, but it was, it was nice. So I don't, I don't think I would repurchase that. I'm very picky with my VCS because we have to pay exact shipping and 
if I'm just maybe okay with the scent, it's just not worth paying the extra shipping. So not a repurchase, but it was okay. This is was a sample from Ella After and Lavender and Sage. Um, I'm not a huge sage person. It's okay. It's just not, I don't think it should be in home fragrance. Um, lavender I'm okay with. I put this in my bathroom. It lasted 12 plus hours, but I wouldn't repurchase it. It was better on warm than it was on cold. This is from Country Market Crafts, Lavender Lemon Shortbread. Um, this was okay. I put it in my bathroom. It wasn't a boomer again. I don't know whether it's the time of year in my house or what, but um, I she had some of this on her last restock. I didn't purchase it. It's just a very herbal lavender, um, which isn't my favorite, like sweet lavender. So this is Bulletproof Coffee from Tallulah Po, Black Coffee Beans with whip vanilla butter and coconut oil. This is really nice. I really like coffee scents and I found out my boyfriend really likes coffee scents. So I'm going to have to purchase more for him and me, obviously. Um, this was a big waffle heart. I don't know why I turned it around. It's not like you can see it. Um, <laughs> um, this lasted like 10 hours or so. Um, I would repurchase this one though. It's very, very, very nice. I really, that's probably one of my favorites from her. This is Ella After the Given Tree, uh, Vanilla Lace, Sandalwood, Campfire Marshmallow, and Rosemary Mint. I didn't purchase this for a long time because of the Rosemary Mint and Sandalwood. I thought I hated Sandalwood. I thought I hated Mint. This is beautiful. This is, I would, I've repurchased this. I would keep repurchasing it. It is a very nice, like, creamy, minty, girly. It's just beautiful, beautiful. You get the vanilla lace, you get that marshmallow, you get the mint. Um, I don't know what the sandal, I'm not, I don't know what sandalwood smells like on its own, but this is beautiful. And if you like creamy minty scents, I highly recommend that one. This is Turn Your Lights Down Low from Ebony Violet. Warm Amber, Sweet Sugar, Soft Musk, Cotton Candy, Lemon Drops, Vanilla, and Palo Santo Wood. I like this one. I have repurchased this one. This is a beautiful uh, bedroom scent. It was lighter. It only lasted probably eight hours. And her and her stuff for me is a boomer. Like it starts off so strong and then it just like kind of goes down for uh, hours just at a lower level. So I kind of like her stuff more in my bedroom where I, I kind of lay there and can smell it. Sorry guys, I keep hitting the table. Um... But I think I would repurchase this one, just not in huge quantities. This was like uh, an owl. This is Pond of Tears from Ella After, Sweet Funnel Cake, Ice Cream and Salty Sea Air. Um, I like this one a lot better on warm than I do on cold. I, I, not, I don't think I'm a huge fan of funnel cake. And that Salty Sea Air and the funnel cake just kind of made it smell funky to me. But it was way better on warm. Um... I might repurchase this one just because of the warm and but it's a lighter one it only lasts probably eight hours or so um but it might be a repurchase next is honey be mine from Tallulah and Poe raw honey chocolate and cocoa butter didn't like this one um that chocolate and honey and cocoa butter just didn't work for my nose it only lasted probably five hours or so um, I wouldn't repurchase that one. It's just something off about it. This is King of Hearts from Ella After. Strawberry Cupcakes and Cookies. Um, this is a really nice strawberry scent, but I think I left it too long. Um, this had, like, no throw. Like, virtually no throw. It might have threw for a couple hours. I left it in hoping that it would come to life, but... There was just nothing. If I would repurchase this one, but use it up sooner. Um, I don't know if it was her bags. Like she used like these four mil bags previously, and then she switched to like normal. No, that's that's the same. See, like it's just not like a normal polypropylene bag. I don't know if it was these bags um, because anything in the normal bags I got get good throw of, even if it's older. But um, but I would repurchase it. Long story short, I just use it up sooner. This sucker, House of Lannister, Rose Petal Sugar Cookie Dough and Buttercream. This was a creamy rose scent and this lasted, this last 24 hours plus. Um, the first, that rose petal is just like boom in your face. Like if you don't like floral, do not get this one. 
Um, I should have, I had, this came with six tarts in it, like the little tarts like that big. Um, and I put a whole one in each warmer. There was four warmers in my open concept and Jesus lasted. By the end of it, it still had scent, but I was so tired of smelling rose after two full days. Like I put it in Friday night and it went all day Saturday and half the day Sunday. And I just, by the end of it, I was like, I need to take this out. I need something different than rose. So if you like rose and you like creamy rose, I highly recommend trying this one. This sucker lasts forever. I just finished this one up last night. This is Never Ending Netflix from Mel After. Sugar cookies, creamy zucchini, and rich cream. This was a big pie. This is one of my favorite scents from her. It's a great blender. A lot of people have compared this to uh, Fake and Bake from Super Tarts. I know some people don't say that, but I'm just then you know if you can't get Fake and Bake and this is available on Ella After, it's very comparable. It's a fantastic blender. I should have blended this with the House of Lannister to cream it out even more. Um, but I love this just on its own and she has several blends mixed with it. So 100% a repurchase. This is blueberry and pink sugar from Closet Full of Wax. I love this one. I'm not a big blueberry fan, but her blueberry is very nice. Pink sugar is very nice. This didn't, usually her stuff lasts a long time. This only lasted about 10, 12 hours for me, but I would repurchase this one. It's a custom, so I'd have to make another custom. This is, was a sample, a heart shape from the Scented Squirrel and Blue Sugar and Toasted Marshmallow. Um, this one's nice. I love Blue Sugar. I love Toasted Marshmallow. This one, again, didn't last in over a long time, probably like eight hours or so, but this was really nice. I repurchased a scent shot of it in my last restock, in the last restock. This is Gingham from Closet Full Wax. I love Gingham. Um, this... May, had a weird scent by the end of it though and same as the blueberry sugar I, I forgot to mention that these both for some reason I don't know if it's the scent of her wax or what it was but this had a real strange tone at the end of it that I had to take it out I just didn't enjoy it but after 12 hours I was ready to take it out anyways so this is from Mandala Melts Aurora Lavender Mask and Powder um not my favorite scent it's it's a bedroom scent um, but I'm not a big fan of powder like and lavender and musk are just okay So I wouldn't be a repurchase, but it was okay. It's an okay bedroom scent and last for not least is From bath a chunked up candle from bath and body works on ocean driftwood. This was beautiful This was oceany and musky and manly and woody um, I would repurchase this candle and chunk it up or I would purchase this. This was part of a friend mail um, And chunk it up and stuff. It was beautiful in my bathroom and it lasts probably 12 plus hours is beautiful i would repurchase that so anyways guys that is my melts for january like i said i don't know what's got into me but i melted a lot um that like i said my bag was full so i will come back to you at the end of february with this last week of january and february and so if you have made it to the end thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye guys